Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the 2016 Road Trek SS Agile. This is going to be on a short sprinter chassis, Mercedes Benz of course. It's great because it's going to be under 20 foot, it's going to be 19 foot 5 inches, so it's going to be a nice, uh, short, perfect for traveling coach. Of course, because it is on the Mercedes-Benz chassis, you know you're going to get quality. A ton of great features. Uh, one of my favorites, of course, is going to be right underneath the hood. Not only do you have your 2.1 liter turbo diesel, but you're also going to have an underhood generator in there. So the great thing about that is it's going to be a lot quieter rather than having the Cummins own in, and it's always going to be running. So as soon as you start up the coach, your generator is running, giving you full access to the entire coach. So definitely a, a great feature. Also, for charging capabilities, up on top, you're not going to really be able to see it, but you do have solar panel up there, comes equipped, it's a 300 watt solar panel. Make our way back here, you'll have nice fiberglass step, getting, in, getting into both the driver and passenger side, and you're going to have a power step here to get into the main section of the coach. So nice power step, go ahead and get you up and in. Power awning up top, there'll be your box awning there, super simple of course, touch of a button, that'll come on out. You do have uh, attachments both here and in the back that will have arms that can come down in case it is a really windy day. Also right here, um, one of the things I like that Road Trek does, they're going to have automotive bonded windows in there so they look really nice, you know they're not going to leak on you, just a, a fantastic feature. As we make our way to the back here, you do have your Continental Tire Kit that's going to be mounted right here, of course factory hitch there. And then we open this up, you can see you have plenty of storage right back here. So ton of great storage there, of course we have uh, some extra carpet, you'll see your inverter in there as well. Um, and then this one will open up too, but of course you just have to drop the tire kit for that to go ahead and happen. Also, these doors do open all the way up, which is kind of neat. You can just pull it out right here. As you can see, they'll swing all the way open, and both doors do have that capability. You'll have magnets on their side to go ahead and uh, lock it into place. As we make our way around to the off door side here, or uh, driver's side rather, so here is going to be our outside shower, of course, both hot and cold access. Then, as we scoot right down here, here is going to be your terminations as well as your uh, macerator uh, valve. So that control is going to be right up here in the passenger seat. I'll show you in a or driver's uh, seat. I'll show you in a second. But you just touch a button. That's going to have a one-inch termination. That macerator is going to go ahead and chop up the solids for you. Also, right here is going to be your propane as well as your water connection. As I mentioned, that button for the macerator is going to be right here, so you just go ahead and touch that and that'll cycle everything through. Also, uh, some people don't know this, but on your Sprinter chassis here is your access to your fuel tank. That just go ahead and uh, folds open like so. The cool thing about that is when the door is closed, people can't access it, that way they can't siphon your fuel. Alright, that's pretty much it on the outside, let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Road Trek SS Agile. Right back here, of course, is going to be your rear power sofa. This will drop down into a bed. It's going to have the control right here, nice and easy. The thing I like about this is you can adjust it so you can get different angles on your back. That way you can uh, have different angles to go ahead and sit, be nice and comfortable. Or, of course, it can lay all the way flat. That way it's going to uh, go ahead and form into the bed just like so. Now underneath the cushion is going to be uh, the other piece that goes across here and then of course you'll fill this in again uh, creating that bed space. Also a couple things to note while we're back here you will see this black piece right here that's going to be uh, a rear screen that just zips up right in there that way you can have those doors open get a nice uh, cross breeze coming through. Also, you are going to have a uh, plug-in up here, as well as your standard 110 outlets both over here. You'll also have uh, one on this side, and you're going to have one up here as well. So you'll have plenty of outlets back here, making it nice and easy to go ahead and plug in any electronics. Also, you're going to have wonderful lighting, everything from your LED lights up top to your reading lights on both sides. So when you are back here, if you want to read a book, um, again, just great lighting. 
Right here you'll notice is going to be a stand for a table. That leg is going to be tucked away up front, but that way you can go ahead and put a table back here. So again, if you want to open that up, enjoy the nice breeze, you can go ahead and sit around whether you are uh, eating a meal, playing cards, whatever it may be. Your entertainment center is also going to be back here. You'll have a 24 inch Samsung TV that will be on a swivel mount. That will be located here. Of course it's going to come with that nice decorative cover. But that will swing around. Uh, as I'll show you a little bit later, both the passenger and driver seats do swivel so you're able to watch that up front as well. Uh, that will be connected right here to your home theater system which does have a DVD player built in and it's going to have surround sound. It will have speakers both in the rear as well as speakers in the front and you'll have a subwoofer underneath your rear couch to really give you that home theater experience. So a ton of great features down here. As we take a look up top, you'll see you're gonna have great storage all the way around the top of the coach. So we can open these compartments up. You'll have the self-supporting hinges in there. Wonderful, again, wonderful storage. Uh, Road Trek always does a great job. Nice, high-quality woodwork in here. Again, nice, huge storage area back here. And right here as well, control your speakers is going to be right here so you can turn it from uh, surround or your automotive. Um, and again, that's where your cable plugins and everything will be there as well. Also, when it comes to storage, we can take a look here. Huge storage area. Uh, this will go ahead and pull out, so any shirts or anything you have hanging, nice easy access right there. So right over here is going to be our galley area. The thing I like about this is be, both of your, your cooktop and your sink are going to have covers so you get big huge countertop space, excellent prep space. When you do want to go ahead and use it, super easy. This will just lift up like so, give you access to your two burners. One on the left is going to be high output for you. Also here is going to be your sink. This again just lifts up, faucet comes up like that, super simple to use. When you're done again you tuck it back away. But you know, you'll have your granite countertops, great countertop space, great prep space. Again, LED lights in here make it nice and bright so you can see while you're cooking. Spice rack here on the side, excellent windows all the way around, letting in a ton of natural light. And we're going to have uh, some storage up top. So you have a storage area here. This is going to be your solar charge controller. As I mentioned, we were outside. This does come equipped with that 300 watt solar panel. Now, if we start to take a look underneath, we do get some extra drawer space. Road Truck does a good job. They get nice and creative, fitting in uh, any kind of drawer space where they can. So, you know, this one's gonna be a little bit narrower, but again, that's a nice big open space. Great for some of the flat items, like, uh, you know, whether it's notebook, you know, pot holders, whatever you wanna put in there. But any space is always good. Again, additional space here. And then you're going to have a table right here. So this is going to fold out. You have another piece that slides out and supports underneath here, but that way you can have a table while you're sitting up front. Right here is going to be pull out pantry space. Our refrigerator, we can go ahead and open that up. You'll see you get a nice big fridge with your uh, freezer right here. Freezer's gonna drop down like so. So excellent space right there, nice and easy to get into. And you're going to have a convection microwave. So this will act both as your microwave and your oven, uh, giving you kind of the two in one. The great thing about that is it's gonna be a lot easier to clean and it's not gonna have the heat output that your standard oven would. Also underneath right here, you're going to have great additional storage. Right across our alleyway here is going to be our bathroom. You do have uh, mirrored doors on there as well as some magazine racks underneath. But as we take a look into the bathroom here, it's just going to open up like so. You can see you're going to have your fully functional wet bath there. Um, so you're going to have your toilet as well as your hand wand for your shower, a light, um, and then a vent up top. Then you'll see the shower curtain right here actually comes out and around. That's because when the bathroom shuts, it actually uh, shuts and kind of locks like this, giving you a little bit more space. Um, you know, and they really do a good job of utilizing that small space and making it plenty large for you. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the cabin up front. Up front in the SS Agile, you'll notice both seats are going to swivel around. That way you're able to fully utilize the cab space. Also, this one is going to be equipped with the luxury chassis package, which is gonna give you several options from steering wheel controls to uh, power mirrors. It'll give you lane assist and several other fantastic features. 
If we look up top here, you do have additional storage. Go ahead and open that up for you. It's a little dark in there, but that is nice deep storage. Goes back quite a ways. Of course, you'll see we're also going to have a speaker built in right here. And then right here is going to be your EcoTrack. So this unit is equipped with the EcoTrack, which is going to be your lithium ion batteries. Uh, I did touch on the underhood generator when we were outside, so it does have that option. Of course, your 300 watt solar panel, and it's going to have your volt start. That way, if your batteries do start depleting, the coach will go ahead and turn on for you and recharge those batteries. Right over here is going to be the rest of our solar panel. Again, you'll notice the switch isn't going to be here for the generator because it is that under hood generator. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a 2016 Road Trek SS Agile. It's going to be under 20 foot, so it's nice and easy to drive. You can park in any normal parking spot. You get the nice head height of the Sprinter chassis, the high end quality that you find with Mercedes as well as Road Trek, and you're going to get the phenomenal warranty that Road Trek offers as well. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.